Okay, since your birthday is coming up in three years. What was her name again? Milo Falcone, fashion therapist to the stars and beyond. What, 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 what are you doing? I'm absorbing your persona. Drinking in your color aura. Michael, you must emerge from this cocoon of darkness and become a manly butterfly. Oh, wait, yes. I see you dressed in avocado, bright yellow, and hot pink. And I see you've lost your mind. Now, now, hear me out. For you, black has become a trap. Black inspires me. It's a color of Bibles, of bondage, and fighting chickens. <gasps> I see burgundy! The color of entertainment, and guava! The color of comedy, and <gasps> dust! The color of vintage westerns. <laughs> it's so good! I'm a... Oh my! Doesn't Milo have good taste? <laughs> like a tongue sandwich at a vegan convention. Michael, remember the frozen pheasant. Okay, okay. You say that I wear too much black, but Abby Abby and I are the same person, therefore she must wear too much black. So tell us, what is your proposition if you indeed have a proposition? Well... I don't like it. He hasn't said anything. Yet. Michael, all the great entertainers have metamorphed. Remember how Madonna started out? Fishnets and grommets. Exactly. I see you dressed in an aquamarine jacket with the white cravat around your neck. And you, Abby Abby, I see a vision of alabaster with mylar strips waving like the tentacles of an amorous sea anemone. <laughs> Oh my goodness, our fans will be awestruck. Oh, awestruck first and vomiting second. Oh, you're just threatened by this vision of Abby Abby as a sea creature. No, he's just allergic to seafood. <laughs> Milo, where is your drawing board? In West Hollywood, right above Rage. Then I suggest that you go back to it and come up with something we can really wear. Okay. Hey!